everybody and you're welcome to another time of MFC 365. MFC 365 is our prayer challenge and uh, it's a time where we come together and pray. It's called Mercy and People Challenge and our prayer focus is prayer for the covering of God. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Let's enter into the presence of God with thanksgiving. Let's go ahead. Let's worship the name of the Lord. Let's magnify him. Let's begin to thank him for all he has done. The Bible says in Psalm 5 verse 11, But let all those who rejoice, who put their trust in you, let them ever shout for joy because you defend death. Let those also who love your name be joyful in you. Let's go ahead. Let's begin to bless the name of the Lord. Let's be joyful in Him. Let's uh, show our gratitude to God. Let's begin to bless His holy name. Malakush. <laughs> I'm 
Hallelujah. And in this segment, we are praying for our church, that is our local assembly and our nation. I'll be praying for Nigeria. Uh, let's come together and remember uh, if we can pray, there is a God that can answer. Uh, our prayers are, uh, have effect and they are working uh, miracles already. The Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter 12 verse 13, now the blood shall be a sign for you on your houses where you are. And when I say the blood I will pass over you and the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. Go ahead and let's turn it into prayer. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
in this next segment we are praying for our pastors our mentors and our parents if your husband is not your pastor you can include him into this prayer as the bible says in psalms 121 and verse 3 he will not allow your feet to be moved he will he will keep you will not slumber hallelujah kalapasha kataya baba we have a promise from god that he who keeps us will not slumber go ahead turn it into prayers we are kept by his mercy we are kept in the name of jesus oh our pastors our mentors and our parents are kept <laughs> In 
in this segment. We are making intercession for on behalf of our finances. The Bible says in Malachi chapter 3 and verse 10 in the KJV, bring all the tithes into the storehouse and there might be food in my house and try me now in this says the Lord of hosts if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out to you such blessings that you will not have room enough to receive it. Go ahead and begin to pray in the name of Jesus that as you obey uh, this command, as you bring in the tithe, uh, the heavens will be opened over you, over your finances and over your home in the name of Jesus. Glory to 
glory hallelujah hallelujah and in this segment we are praying for our families ah yakataya baba let us go ahead and make an altar of intercession on behalf of our family the bible says in psalms 32 verse 7 in the new king james version it says you are my hiding place you shall preserve me from trouble you shall surround me with songs of deliverance in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, the Lord will surround us with songs of deliverance. Go ahead, begin to make intercession. Warfare 
we are making warfare before the Lord. La kapaya kataya baba. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. The Bible tells us. Uh, the Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter 12 and verse 12 in the New King James Version. For I will pass through the land of Egypt on that night uh, and will strike all the firstborn in the lands of Egypt, both man and beast. Uh, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. Go ahead. Turn it into Desires for the month. 
alone to the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 28, and we know that all things work together for good to those who are who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. My question is that do you love the Lord? Are you called according to your to his purpose? Then go ahead, begin to make your request known unto the Lord with faith in your heart. Kalabo shakataya, eleke berota kadika bora kataya baba, eleke go ahead. Segment, we are 
praying about Psalms 91. You are making Psalm 91 declaration. You are putting the wordings of the Psalms in your mouth and you are making declaration based on it. The Bible says in Psalm 91 verse 10, No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. Kalabosi kelebababa. Oh, go ahead and intercede. Every plague, every evil shall not befall you. It shall not come near your dwelling place. In the name of God.
the blood uh, declaration. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 24, to Jesus the mediator of the new covenant and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. You will put in your mouth uh, and you will begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus upon your marriage, the blood of Jesus upon you, upon your health, upon your finances, upon your work, upon everything that you possess, uh, upon your house, upon your storehouse. Oh, Parika Pata Katala. Hallelujah. 
and in this segment we are praying the polite prayers and we are praying and asking God uh, for wisdom wisdom for today wisdom to rule and reign in the affairs of life uh, the Bible says in the book of Colossians chapter 1 and verse 9 uh, oh for this season we also since the day we heard it uh, do not cease to pray for you and to ask uh, that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding go ahead begin to talk to the Lord uh, begin to pray this scripture into your life right now that you will be filled uh, with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding <laughs> The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, and verse 5, He but He 
was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement for our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. Kalabashakatayababa. I speak healing to you right now. Alaposhiakapayaga. I speak the word of God to you right now that by the stripes of Jesus you are healed. The Bible says in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 22 and verse 26, With the merciful, thou will show thyself merciful, and with the blameless man, you will show yourself blameless. Let's go ahead right now. Karuso bakira badaba, erobo shika varusa katayababa, e 
let's begin to talk to the Lord. Let's begin to intercede that the Lord will begin to show mercy upon us. God, because our God is a prayer answering God. Hallelujah. Kelebusi arabataya. Ekembo kapi kapali kapora kataya. Eleke tetete keliaba. Arabakataya. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We magnify your holy name. Thank you, God. Thank you because you hear and you have answered. 
our prayers. Thank you, Father. Oh, we bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And I speak into our day. I speak and I declare God's word that we will go out in peace and be led forth in joy. And with joy, we will draw waters from the well of salvation. I declare our day blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you for joining me today. I expect to see you same time, 12 a.m. tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.